give God a praise this morning. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Before we go into our scripture and our prayer this morning, help me sing this last song. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Evangelist Black, let's receive by saying amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everyone. Please stand for the reading of God's word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is truly worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Would you turn to the book of St. John? chapter number six, and we'll start reading at verse 47 through 51, and then we'll drop down to verse 58. That's St. John chapter seven, verses 47 through 51, and then we'll drop down to verse 58. 
St. John chapter 7, verse 47 through 51, and then we'll drop down to verse 58. If you have it, say amen. 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 Let us read together. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Verse 58. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearers and the doers of his word. Hallelujah. At this time, if you would like to come down to the altar, you may do so at this time, but come believing. Hallelujah. Believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. We want to remember all those that are sick. Continue to pray for Deacon Roseman. Continue to pray for Trusty Linton. We thank the Lord that he's here with us on today. And all others that are sick. Hallelujah. Remember Sister Simpson, Sister Goldie Simpson. Uh, remember the bereaved. And remember the family of um, Sister Jeanette Bloodsaw. Remember that family in Jesus' name. Thank the Lord, Sister Williams is here on today. Continue to pray for her and that family in Jesus' name. And all others, Lord, we also want to remember, pray for the peace of Jerusalem in a special way. In the name of Jesus, men and women, all walks of life. Pray for our leaders, our, our pastors, spiritual leaders, and all those uh, presidents and those that are um, seeking to become president. We want to pray for them. The Bible teaches us to pray for men and women, high, men in high places, kings and queens, in high places, let us remember them. Pray one for another. Remember the saints of God everywhere. Remember our young people in a special way. Remember those that have gone down in Jesus' name and have not yet received the Holy Ghost. Pray for the speaker on this morning and the services all in Jesus' name. Pass me not, O oh gentle say.
Heavenly Father. Lord, we come to you right now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day which you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for another blessed opportunity, Lord, to come boldly to the throne of grace. Lord God, we need help on today. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us to be in your house, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be in your presence, oh God. Lord, we thank you for the activities of our limbs, oh God. We thank you for being clothed in our right mind, oh God. Come into this house oh God to lift up the name of Jesus Lord God as we come humbly as we know how Lord we ask that you remember all those that are gathered around this altar in the name of Jesus oh God as we make our petitions made known unto you God we ask that you will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus we ask that you'll meet every need on today God meet every care every concern every desire oh God Lord you know the things that are deep and hidden inside Lord God we ask that you perfect those things that concerneth us Lord God we ask that you will remember Remember each and every name that has gone up before you in the name of Jesus, Lord. We ask that you will visit us on today, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome your presence, Lord. Have free range. Have free course, oh God. We ask that you anoint every occupied seat in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are praying, Lord, for souls to be saved. We thank you, Lord, for the souls that have gone to the terrier room. God, we pray, Lord, you will fill them with the Holy Ghost this day. In the name of Jesus, anyone else that has a desire, Lord, they too can be filled with the Holy Ghost in the midst of our service, Lord. Lord, we make room, Lord. We put our flesh silent. We keep it and command it to be silent in the name of Jesus so you can have free course and free range in this place. Lord, we ask that you remember the bereaved, oh God. Remember the family of the late Sister Jeanette Bloodsaw. We ask that you give them comfort right now, oh God, and even our church family. Give us all peace in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would bless her sisters, her brothers, or her grandchildren and great-grandchildren and extended family. Give them peace, oh God. We pray that you will call the men to be saved in Jesus' name. Lord God, we ask that you remember the sick in the name of Jesus, those that are amongst us, Lord, that are sick and ailing in their bodies. We command sickness to flee in the name of Jesus. Lord, we stand in the name of Jesus. We're standing firm on your word. God, you said we can ask anything in your name and you will do it. God, we praise you. We thank you. We glorify you. We pray for the speaker on this morning. Lord, we ask that you anoint him, O oh God, from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Let your word go forth with demonstration and with power in the name of Jesus. We trouble the waters. Trouble the waters of baptism right now. Cause men to say, what must I do to be saved? And they come down and repent of their sins and be baptized and be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Lord, remember each and every request, O oh God. Remember each and every family that's here, O oh God. Every family in the name of Jesus and even those who couldn't make it on today remember sister Goldie Simpson Lord Deacon Roseman Lord trustee Linton and his family oh God remember each and every one of our families oh God you know our needs before we even ask and God we praise you we thank you we count it done it is so by faith and we praise you we magnify you we clap our hands God because it is done according to the holy and righteous will and we thank you in Jesus name amen and amen I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me service. We're going to ask all of our young people to please stand 
at this time. All of our young people, please stand at this time. It's nursery age on up. All of our young people, all of our young people, please stand at this time. We're going to be led in prayer by Minister Denzel Washington in Jesus' name. At this time, let us all pray, even our young people as well as our teachers, anyone who has anything to do with our children, daycare workers, amen, even the parents or grandparents who may want to stand in proxy, amen, for their young person, amen, we invite you to stand as well at this time. Let us pray now, Lord, we thank you for your goodness, we thank you for your love and for your mercy. We thank you, O oh God, for this, thy children. For you said in your word, O oh God, that this is your heritage, O oh God, and the fruit of the womb is your reward. So, Father, we come before you, O oh God, not with eloquency of speech, O oh God, but to give back unto you that which you have entrusted unto us. Father, we ask that you look down upon these young people, O oh God. You see the desires of their heart, O oh God. You see the test and the trials and the temptation, O oh God, that may vex them day in and day out. Father, we ask right now, O oh Lord, even in the midnight hour, that you remind them, O oh God, that greater is he that is within them than he that is within the world. Remind them, O oh God, that they can be victorious through Jesus Christ. Remind them, O oh God, that they can do all things through Jesus Christ. Father, we ask right now, O oh Lord, that you bless them, O oh God. We pray that you bless them academically, but most importantly, bless them spiritually, O oh God. Those who are not saved, O oh Lord, we ask that you send the spirit of conviction and arrest their hearts and their minds until they cry, what must I do to be saved? Those who are already filled with the Holy Ghost, O oh God, we ask that you bless that fire to never go out. Bless them, O oh God. Give them a desire to have more and more of you. Bless our teachers, our parents, grandparents, and guardians, O oh God. Father, we ask that you give them the patience, the strength, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they need to deal with our children. Protect them, O oh God, from the workers of iniquity. Protect them, O oh God, on every side. And we'll thank you for it and we'll praise you. And let everyone say in Jesus' name, amen. Want to ask the choir to prepare themselves to come up, but before they come up, at this time we want to ask: Are there any first-time uh, visitors with us this morning? Any first-time visitors? We ask that you please stand at this time. If this is your first time here at Clinton Street, Great Bethlehem Temple Church. We're asking you to stand at this time. Any visitors? This is not your first time, but you just came here today to worship with us. We also ask you to stand at this time as well. Well, if you're too nervous to stand, amen. Let's give God a praise for our visitors. And if you're too nervous to stand, we still praise God for you as well. And we say welcome, welcome, welcome to you. On behalf of our pastor, Pastor Elginon Bartell, and our first lady, First Lady Bartell, we just want to say praise the Lord. Let's give God another praise for our uh, visitors this morning. At this time, we're going to ask to come up, we're going to get the furtherance of the service over into the hands of Minister Goodwin, in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord with us. Come on, bless the Lord with us.
trust in the Lord. We give him all the praise and we give him all the glory. We trust in God. When you trust in the Lord, that means you don't have a plan B. Are you listening? You don't have a plan B. It's whatever the Lord says. You don't lean to your own understanding. You don't look for your way to figure it out. You look for the Lord to work it out. 
We trust in God today. Do you trust in God? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes.
Savior, the one who will never fail. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He will never fail. Hallelujah. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey, Mosaka. Glory. Hey, glory. Glory. Such a wonderful song. Such an anointed song. Hallelujah. Thank God for the choir. Hallelujah. Thank God for the choir. Elder Goodwin and the choir doing a great job. God bless you. God is with you. Holy Ghost is with you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. God's a good God. Grateful unto God for this revival. For this revival. We were revived on Friday night. Elder Price preached out of the depths of his soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we're grateful unto God for his goodness and his kindness. Thank God for Mother Porter. God bless you. Mother Clark, God bless you. All of our visitors, we thank you. We thank God for Sister Nina Hudgens. God bless you. Got to see her and daughter. God bless you. The speaker's wife, Brother Sullivan, God bless you. And his wife, God bless you. All of our visitors, we like to thank you for taking out time to be here. You didn't have to choose this house, but you chose this house on this morning. And we don't take it for granted. We're grateful that you come to worship the name of the Lord Jesus Christ with us on this morning. Everybody here, give yourselves a hand. God bless you. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God. Lord, I'm not even going to mention his name. We thank God for him, though. Uh, we're just grateful unto God for being good. We're grateful for this young preacher on this morning. You know, I'm crazy about preachers that preach the word. This is a word preaching preacher. I just, you know, I'm like, you know, everybody, you, as long as you tell the truth, I'm on your side. I'm jumping up. I'm flipping off of the, whatever, because I love the word of God. I love the preaching that God has anointed this young man to preach the gospel. He preached Bible. Hallelujah. We want you to sit prayerfully, but not exemplary quiet. What did we say to the truth? We say amen to the truth. We want you to pray. As Elder Gary Hudgens come bring of us the words of life. Can we receive by saying amen? amen? Can we say amen again? Elder Hudgens, God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's put our hands together and give God some praise on this great morning. Come on, this is the day that the Lord have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How many came to rejoice in the Lord? And again, I say rejoice because he didn't have to do it. He didn't have to wake you up this morning. Come on, thank him for the activities of your limbs. Come on, thank God that you still have a sound mind. Come on, you still know who you are in Christ Jesus. I need Clinton Street to help me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I get some more monitors and sound? Come on and help me praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits who healeth all thy diseases. Come on, church, I need you to help me. Praise this almighty God. Glory and honor and praise belongs to him. Come on, give it to him just about 30 seconds. Come on. If it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, where would you be this morning? Come on, you are not consumed. You are not consumed. You are not consumed. Great is
is his faithfulness. I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. I release you to praise him, Clint Street. I said, I release you to praise him. I release you to praise him. Come on, give God all you got. You don't know it may be your last time. But when the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I release you to praise him. Hey, I release you to praise him. Glory, 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 glory. Somebody say, I sought the Lord and he heard me. That's why I got to praise this morning. Because I sought the Lord and he heard me. Anybody grateful this morning that he heard you? Oh, if you're glad about it, somebody praise him if he heard you. He heard you in the midnight hour when you were crying yourself to sleep. Somebody say he heard me. And that's why I got to trust him. Oh, I feel Jesus in this place today. Tell your neighbor, say, I feel Jesus. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise and magnify my God. Because he is good. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. We give God great praise. Come on, clap your hands one more time. In the presence of the Lord, we praise the Lord for being back here at Clinton Street. Come on, give God great praise for your church, Greater Bethlehem Temple Church, and to your leader. Come on, bless the Lord for him. Come on, Elder Bartell, Lady Bartell, we praise the Lord for you. To this great cloud of witnesses, these ministers of the gospel, to my brother and friend, amen, Elder Bryce Brunson, the youth leader. That's why I'm here today. Come on, just give God praise for him. Amen. We praise the Lord. Amen. For Brian Brunson also. Amen. To my pastor in this absence, Southern Bishop Donnie Falk. Amen. And to the Mountaintop International Word Ministry Church in Oak Park, Michigan. Amen. Last but not least, I honor my beautiful wife that is here with me. Amen. To my daughter. Amen. Dr. Nina Hudges. Praise the Lord for God giving me her. Amen. Blessing me with such a supportive woman of God who stands by my side through the good and the evil, through the bad, through the ups and the downs, amen. Somebody say amen to that, amen. So I thank the Lord that a man that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. My brothers ought to say amen to that, amen. So there is a word from the Lord today. There is a word from the Lord, amen, coming from a very familiar passage of scripture, amen, coming from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 21 through 25, then go over to chapter 3, verses 8 and 10, then we're going to close out with Psalms 16 and 11. I know that's a lot of reading, but please indulge me for the word of God. As we stand to our feet, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your mercy and for your grace. We thank you for your spirit that I already feel in this place. Now, God, move. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Lord God, send your anointing, Lord God, that would make preaching easy. Lord, I pray for your power to meet and manifest yourself in this place. Lord God, I come against every distraction. I come against every hindering spirit now. I come against the work of the darkness. Your word will go forth and perform. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Holy Spirit, in this place. Save somebody this morning. Baptize somebody in your name and fill somebody with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, let them have an ear what the Spirit has yet seen to the church now. In Jesus' mighty name, can the church say amen? Can the church say amen again? Amen. Here begins the reading of God's word again. That's Genesis chapter number 2, verse 21 through 25. And to go over to chapter 3, verse 8 through 10. And we're going to close out with Psalms 16 and 11. Here begins the reading of God's holy word. The Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. 
she shall be called woman because she was taken out of a man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. Here it is. And they were both naked. Somebody say naked. The man and his wife and were not ashamed. Somebody say ashamed. Chapter 3, verse 8 said, And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked. Somebody say naked. And I hid myself. Amen. Psalm 16 and 11. Thou wilt show me the path of life. Hallelujah. In thy presence is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Verse 25 of Genesis chapter number 2 said, And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. I want to preach from this subject, unashamed in God's presence. Tell somebody, unashamed in God's presence. Come on and put your hands together and give God praise for the word that is to come. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Unashamed in God's presence. Psalms 24 says, the earth is the Lord's. Hallelujah. And the fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein. He says, for he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Church, since the beginning of time now, you were born for greatness. You were born to win. You were born to accomplish. You were born on purpose and for purpose. The Bible said you were made in his image and in his likeness to what reflect the glory of God Psalms 19 and 1 says the heavens declare hallelujah the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork now Ephesians Paul is letting us know he says according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy somebody show holy and without blame in him in love chosen us in Christ not that we deserved it but because of his love and because of his goodness Paul says now we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God now hath before ordained that we should walk in them in other words now church uh, we are God's handiwork hallelujah we are God's handiwork God has now the deepest affection for us mainly because we belong to him uh, tell somebody I belong to God I belong to God I belong to God in other words uh, you are God's own uh, possessions you are God's special people and because you belong to him uh, he loves you uh, with a everlasting love and not only church does God love you but he demonstrates now how much he loves us because the Bible said in John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish 
but have everlasting life. First John 4 and 10 says, herein is the love, not that we love God, but that he loved us. And he sent his son now to be the propitiation for our sins. When we think about, hallelujah, the sacrifice and the love of God, we should have a more greater appreciation for what God has done for us. We should have a grateful perspective. Somebody ought to praise him right about now for his love. Hallelujah, his love. And so now, church, in retrospect, we have to now do a self-examination. We have to do a self-reflection. Are you in the place where God has called you to be? I know there's a lot going on in the world, but are you still focused on Jesus? Ah, is Jesus now still the center of your joy? Are you still dwelling in the secret place? Oh my God, are you still abiding under the shadow of the almighty God? His church, this entails now a relationship of consistency. We have now too many undecided saints going on. Oh, one day you feel like you feel good and then the next day you don't know if you want to serve God or not. But we can't serve God off our feelings because there's going to be times now where you're not mute may not be feeling it but you got to lift up your voice like David and say I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth somebody ought to make the devil this a liar this morning and say I will bless the Lord come on and shout hallelujah so the Bible says now a double minded man is unstable in all his ways and so that's why Peter he exhorts us now to gird up the loins of our mind you got to be sober minded you got to be have a mind of hope we keep letting the devil influence us and convince us that we are missing out on something oh but I'm here to tell you this morning you're not missing out on nothing all you need is to be in the presence of the Lord Somebody shout hallelujah. But we have everything we need in the presence of God. There is joy there. There is love there. There is peace there. There is happiness there. Why are you trying to run out when everything you need is in his presence? Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Lord, I feel my help here already. Somebody just open up your mouth and praise him in the presence. Are we in the presence of the Lord? And so now Peter, he says, according as his divine power, he have given us everything according to his goodness that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to his glory and virtue. When we begin to now do a self-assessment and when we see ourselves as God sees us, we can walk walk unashamed we can walk in confidence we can walk in boldness because God sees us whole he sees us perfect he sees us being the lender and not the borrower he sees us being above and not beneath why you keep trying to trade this eternal path with something that's temporary the Bible says cast not away therefore this confidence which have a great recompense of reward everything you need church is in the presence of the Lord because after you done the will of God Lord have mercy I feel the Holy Ghost creeping on me after you have done the will of God you might receive the promise how many got a promise from the Lord I need you to open up and give God some praise for his promise glory to God and because God's promise he promised never to leave us he promised 
never to forsake us. Even David said, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even your hand now is there to lead me. Somebody ought to praise God for his presence. And so in other words now, God is omnipresent. You cannot hide from him. He's everything and everywhere all at the same time. Paul says it's in him that I live. It's in him that I move. It's in him that I have my being. Oh, while we would never lose the reality of God's presence, we might lose the sense of his presence. So there is a sense now, church, in which we're always in the presence of God. But there is another sense in which we can either be out of God's presence and this sense the presence of God can refer to his divine blessings and embracing love. The psalmist says if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side it's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. His compassions fail us not. Have we all, we all been in situations where we couldn't feel God like we wanted to feel him. If that's you, say amen to me. We all been in situations where we felt like God was too far from us. But the Bible said if you draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh to you. Why are you trying to social distance yourself? God says I need you to get close to me. I need you to get close to me. If you draw nigh to God, he's going to draw nigh to you. Somebody ought to take a few seconds and say I've been too far from God. God said come on and seek my face. Lord have mercy the Bible said if you humble yourself in the sight of God he shall lift you up this is his manifested presence that's when God's manifested presence shows up not only does this value of his presence of the sweet fellowship with God this should make you abide now more in faith more obedient to his word to trust God every step of the way so we need to align ourselves church this word align means to arrange something in correct position it means to be in position oh, when I am in correct position then now I become unashamed the word unashamed means in a way that shows someone that I am not ashamed to act openly without guilt and embarrassment in the book of Genesis now we see God first created mankind male and female he created them to be unashamed open and free innocent Lord have mercy and in the book of Genesis now it is defined as the book of the original the origin source of the beginning Jesus now Genesis is the book of beginnings many questions about life that you need you can find it in the book of Genesis Genesis is where it's first mentioned about the universe and humankind and marriages you find out the purpose of it all it leaves no room for questioning church because God spoke it and he said it is very good Lord have mercy and so now God says it's good to a point where it function the purpose that I've created it to function he spoke it and it came to pass John says all that were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of man Lord have mercy I know on Monday oh glory be to God I know everybody gathered around 
just to see the eclipse. Oh, but I wonder, did anybody see Jesus? Did anybody see his glory? Did anybody say to God, be the glory for the great things he has done? Did anybody say the one who created the sun? Did anybody say to the one who created the moon? Why are you praising the eclipse when you can praise the God of the universe? He's holding it together. If he calls the sun to shine, truly God is able to raise you up. Somebody thank God for Genesis. Lord have mercy and so now Genesis it's a new beginning it's a new start today can be your Genesis young people you can start all over again the Bible said if any man be in Christ he is a new creature he becomes a virgin he's a new creature in Christ all things are passed away and behold all things become new today can be your Genesis. I feel the Holy Ghost right up in there. I said today can be your Genesis. Uh, you don't gotta go out and call no 1-800 number. You don't gotta read your psychic and your zodiac sign. Today can be your Genesis. Come on church and praise him for a new beginning so the Bible says now we see Adam and Eve unashamed and naked and then the Bible said God now he placed them in the garden of Eden now Eden is a special place Eden in the Hebrew word it means spot it means presence it means a delightful place Lord have mercy Eden was a place of work and fulfillment he told Adam I need you to be fruitful and multiply I need you to increase I need you to subdue the land I'm giving you dominion in other words I need you to take control over your environment and that's why we were supposed to do we were never supposed to be afraid and fearful of things because God had gave us authority and he gave us dominion and so God says now I'm giving you access oh God I'm here to tell somebody God today is giving you access you thought you were behind the scenes but God's getting ready to snatch the curtain and give you access and so the Bible said he gave them access of every tree in the garden except for the tree of knowledge of good and evil and the consequence of eating this tree would be death so the Bible said he gave Adam a choice to obey and not to obey see God's not going to robot you but he's going to give you a choice that you got to choose to love him you got to choose to serve him you got to choose to live for him I don't care what you've been hearing God's not no hocus pocus God says I'm giving you a choice and so Moses now he says I called upon heaven and earth to record this day against you I have set before you life and death blessings and curses therefore choose life that you may live and that your seed may live Moses set the choice before Israel that they could choose at the same time though the choice uh, belonged to Israel uh, God cared enough about them uh, to tell them to choose life uh, I'm here this morning on assignment uh, to tell you to choose life uh, choose life uh, choose life uh, in him we live uh, in him we move uh, in him we have our being uh, so y'all know now the story uh, the story of Eve uh, he she gave in now uh, to the craftiness of Satan uh, influence uh, oh God uh, and she gave to her husband also Adam uh, and he did eat uh, and the Bible
Bible say that their eyes were open. See, Satan's mode of operation is to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. The Bible says, and the voice of the Lord came walking in the garden. Oh, hallelujah. And they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. And the Bible said, God called out to Adam. He says, where are you? Adam said, I focus so much on my nakedness. Ah, oh, Jesus, God says, who told you you were naked? Who told you you were unashamed? Who told you you were embarrassed? Ever since Adam now have seen, nakedness have become associated with shame. The first time they felt shame, naked and confused, and trouble because of their disobedience called sin now to enter in the world. And so the sense of need to be covered. And so the Bible said they went to cover themselves with fig leaves, made coverings for themselves. And now in the fall of Adam has affected us all. But God, the sin of Adam has affected us all. But God, it's only a matter of time before God is going to manifest his plan. Ecclesiastes says he has made everything beautiful in his time. He has set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from the beginning of time. In other words, church, God is behind. He's behind the way things are and the things are going to turn out. Hallelujah to God. So God promised this to Satan. He said, because you have done this, Satan, I'm going to put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head and it shall bruise thou heel. So so God now promised uh, that the seed of the woman ought uh, to crush the power of the serpent. Uh, the promise now was fulfilled uh, in Jesus Christ uh, who defeated the sin death uh, in the cross uh, and he rose again uh, with all power in his hands. Uh, somebody ought to thank God for Jesus. Uh, I said thank God for Jesus. Uh, Thank God for the one who was wounded for your transgressions, who was bruised for your iniquities, and the chastisement of his peace was upon him. And with every one of his stripes, we are healed. If you need healing in your body right now, I dare you to open up your mouth and give God praise. You don't got to wait for your healing. Get your healing now. Now I hear God getting ready to heal your broken heart. He's getting ready to heal your cancer. He's getting ready to heal your diabetes. Open up your mouth and praise him for healing. Glory be to God. And so the Bible says, as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one many shall be righteous. But God, somebody say, but God. Somebody say, but God, who is so rich in mercy. He loved us so much that even though we were dead, we ate from the tree we were dead the consequences was death we went into the cookie jar no we were dead but God who is rich in mercy his love for us though we were dead in sin he has given us life he has raised us up in Christ Jesus for by grace now ye are saved anybody 
somebody save here by grace ye are saved through faith it is the gift of God not of yourself not of works lest any man should boast can't nobody boast in here Lord have mercy can't nobody look down on nobody cause all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God but God says I'm getting ready to get my glory back Lord have mercy I'm getting ready to get my glory back I'm getting ready to put you back in the spot I'm getting ready to put you back in my presence on a shame somebody give God an unashamed praise unashamed Unashamed, or oh, y'all still too cute for me. Y'all still too handsome. Come on, unashamed, undignified, unashamed praise. And so God says, you're in my presence now. I cannot stand on a shame. And so now Paul says, let us therefore come boldly. Lord, have mercy. The veil has been rent from top to bottom. Paul said, why are you standing in line to talk to another man when you can talk to the God himself? He said, let us come boldly. I said I'm unashamed now pastor I'm coming boldly you can talk about me as much as you please I'm coming boldly shoes so up hair a mess shirt ripped I'm coming boldly I wonder do I got some young people some middle aged people some wisdom people that says I'm coming boldly they used to talk about me they used to put my name in the crowd they told all the lies about me but I'm coming boldly he said come boldly to the throne of grace that you may find help and find grace to help you in the time of need glory be to God and so now God said I die now to put you back in the spot where now you can have dominion now you can subdue the land. Tell your neighbor we're getting ready to take the land. Lord have mercy. We're getting ready to take the land. We're getting ready to get back in our spot where we had the man. The Bible said you are chosen. You are chosen generation. You are royal priesthood. You are a peculiar people. You are a holy nation that you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Somebody ought to act like it. If God called you out of some things into this marvelous light, give him an unashamed praise and say, I'm getting ready to let my light so shine before man. Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? God said, don't put your light under a bushel oh, but I need you to set your light up on the candlestick I need everybody to see you I need everybody to know you belong to me let everybody know I purchased you with my own blood you don't gotta cover yourself with fig leaves no more you ain't gotta cover yourself with branches anymore cause the blood covered you Lord have mercy the mercy covered you the grace covered you somebody say I'm covered by the blood of Jesus I'm covered by his mercy I'm covered by his grace somebody show hallelujah somebody praise him right about now for covering your mess covering your nakedness covering your shame by the blood of Jesus hallelujah somebody take about 30 seconds thank God for the blood it still works if we will see your testimony if we see what you've done we all run out of this room but the blood of Jesus covered your nakedness 
covered your mess. I don't see you. You look good, my sister, with that dress on, but I don't know what you've been through. He covered your mess. You looking at me with a robe on, you don't see what I've been through. He covered my nakedness. I'm unashamed. That's why I preach like I preach, because I'm unashamed. I come against the darkness of this world. I'm unashamed. I, I play with the devil too long. I'm unashamed. I'm not on the fence no more. I know whom I serve. His name is Jesus. His name is wonderful. His name is counselor. His name is mighty God. I'm unashamed. That's it, sister, I'm unashamed. Call me what you wanna call me. You don't know what I gotta deal with on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You don't know what I gotta deal with on my child. That's why when I get in the house of the Lord, I don't care what you got on. I don't care who's preaching. I just wanna be in his presence. Shut up, I'm see I just want to be in the presence. I don't care who y'all got up. I just want to be in his presence where he is. That's where I want to be. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Unashamed praise. Unashamed praise. And so the Bible says that he's going to give us the comforter even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but you know him for he dwell with you and shall be in you so it's very imperative church that you have the Holy Ghost somebody shout the Holy Ghost it is your paraclete it is your helper it's the one who sticks alongside with you somebody thank God for the Holy Ghost it's the place where you can be unashamed. And so now the Bible said, Paul said, I'm not ashamed of this gospel. I'm not ashamed of this gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek. David said nothing compares to being in the presence of God. Because in his presence, depression can't stay there. Suicide thoughts can't stay there. Darkness cannot stay there. David said, I had to encourage myself and say, why are you cast down, oh my soul? Hope thou in God. For who is the help of my continents? He's getting ready to change your continents. Put a smile on your face. You are not guilty. You are not guilty. Put a smile on your face. You got an honest shame. Praise. Oh God. You may have to draw some time. You may have some tears, but weeping may endure for the night. But joy comes in the morning. Unashamed. 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 So this word presence now, in the original, it means face. So what, what are you trying to tell me, preacher? God says, I want you to be in my face. I want you to be in my face. You're in too many other people's faces. God said, get in my face. I want to be close to you. Hope thou again in God because in my presence there is joy this joy now it transcends any circumstance that you may be going through church and I'm here to tell you to dry your tears don't worry about what they say God has taken you from faith to faith and from level to level and from glory to glory I know 
we in a wicked and evil world but God says if they're not ashamed of the devil and they can drive by with their loud boom boxes if they can drive in their Mercedes Benz at 2, 3 in the morning and you can hear the music going down around the corner God says truly my children who I have purchased with my own blood if they could stand up and let the world know I am not ashamed I wonder do I got somebody here before I take my seat tonight to let you know that God is in control if you will praise and magnify God in the beauty of a holiness God says I got so much more for you you can stand now in God's presence on a shame I know you did some hard things I know you did some dirty things people may know about it but God said today is the day that you stand in my presence on a shame I need you to stand on your feet today get the devil know I'm on a shame I'm on a shame I'm standing in the presence of a God on a shame I know you're looking at me crazy say I ain't never did this before but God says I need somebody that can give me an undignified praise you know all the things I brought you from all the danger seen and unseen God says I'm looking for you this morning to give me an unashamed praise I've been through too much I got you out of too many storms for you not to praise me ah you cried too many times and I heard you as the choir said you got to give me an unashamed praise I need everybody at the sound of my voice to open up your mouth real quick and let every devil know every demonic power know I am not ashamed because he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty he is my refuge he is my fortress surely he shall deliver me from the noisome pestilence from the snare of the father somebody ought to praise him say I'm not ashamed he's my keeper he's my lover he's my friend he's my everything I don't know about you but I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold I'd rather have Jesus than houses and land somebody praise him let the world know I'm on a shame I'm on a shame I'm on a shame call me a holy roller call me a good to shoot but give me Jesus give me the one who died for me give me the one who set my soul whom the son makes free is free indeed you ain't gotta watch your back you are unashamed in his presence you ain't gotta watch your back anymore I said you ain't gotta watch your back whom the son makes free is free indeed you don't have to worry about who's talking about you I'm not embarrassed I'm not guilty therefore there is no more condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus I'm on a shame I'm on a shame Give me some tissue. I'll dry my tears. I'll wipe my snot. I'm unashamed. Unashamed. And maybe there's somebody here. Maybe there's some young person. Pastor, can I go down? Maybe there is some young person that said, young preacher, I heard you. And I'm still dealing with fear. God says, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of sound mind. And now shoot this morning. God comes to counsel fear. I need you to run to this altar and say, young preacher, I I'm on a shame. I'm coming. I'm coming. If that's you, the Bible said, cast your cares upon me, for I careth for
for you. If that's you, I need you to run to this altar and say, I'm unashamed. I'm unashamed. I'm unashamed. I'm getting ready to get my joy back. I'm getting ready to get my peace back. I'm tired of the devil talking to me at night. I'm tired of the devil saying I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to be nothing. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. God says you are a new creature. Lift your hands to God. God wants to restore. I said restore. Restore. Restore, restore, unashamed. God says, I'm getting ready to cover your nakedness. Open up your mouth. God wants to restore. Stir up the gift that's within you. In the name of Jesus, God says, I'm getting ready to restore. I need somebody to point your hands towards him and say, restore. Restore, restore your in his presence unashamed. Let them talk, let them talk. God says you're unashamed in my presence. Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? Come on, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Come on, man. In the name of Jesus, unashamed. Unashamed, unashamed, no more fear, no more anxiety. I cast it off for you. I cast it off for you. In the name of Jesus, Satan, get your hands off of her. She belongs to God. She's God's property. She's God's choice. She's God's choice. She's God's choice. Holy Ghost. Holy hell, no, no, that's it, that, that's it. The presence, the presence of the Lord is in this place. Somebody open up your mouth, unashamed. When you go back to school, I want you to go unashamed. Go in the classroom, be the leader, be the light. In the name of Jesus, let your light so shine in Jesus' name. Go ahead, open up your mouth. In the name of Jesus, unashamed, unashamed, God says you're fearfully and you're wonderfully made, you're fearfully and wonderfully made, cast not your pearls before swine, God says I made you perfect, I made you complete, now give me unashamed praise, I got you, I got you, come on, in the name, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. In the name of Jesus, the presence, the presence of the living God. Hey, that's it, Mike. In the name of Jesus, his presence is here. Somebody ought to jump in this pool. The water is troubling. The water is troubling. The other, that's it, go ahead. Go ahead, in his presence. There's fullness of joy in his presence. Go ahead, get it, 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 get it. Get it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. In the name of Jesus, come on. God says you are a warrior. You are strong and mighty. You are a soldier. God said lift your hands. You're getting ready to be on the shame. You're getting ready to go, God. God says you're getting ready to go into the kingdom. Oh, God, and you're getting ready to pull up. You're getting ready to pull up. You're getting ready to let your light so shine. You will be the example of the believer in word and truth. You will not fail faint in the time of adversity. God said, don't you faint. Uh, don't you faint. Uh, keep your eyes on Jesus. Uh, come on, talk to him. Talk to him. In his presence. In his presence. You're unashamed. That's it. Don't worry about who's looking. Unashamed. That's it. Come on. Talk to your God. Talk to your God. Talk to your God. In the name of Jesus. That's it. That's it. Holy Ghost. Fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, young brother. In the name of Jesus. Unashamed, unashamed. In the name of Jesus. Come forth. Come forth. In the name of Jesus. 
unashamed. God says, unashamed. God says, unashamed. Unashamed. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Oh, God says, he's anointing your head with fresh oil. In the name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth. In his presence, you got to be unashamed. Come on. That's it. Open up, open up. Open up, open up, open up, that's it. Hey, hey, open up in the name of Jesus. This is that, this is that, this is that. Ah, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. My sons and daughters shall prophesy. That's what you gotta do. Come on, open up your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Come on church, the Holy Ghost is in this place. I said the Holy Ghost is in this place. This is the generation that will seek the face of God. This is the generation that will call on the name of the Lord. Come on, generation. Seek God in his presence. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody else need to flood this altar. Somebody else need to flood this altar. I know it's more people than this. I'm on an assignment today. I come against the darkness of evil. I come against the darkness of Satan. He wants to trap your mind. He wants to trap your stance. But let the devil know I'm getting my stance back. I'm getting my joy back. I'm getting my energy back. I'm getting my zeal back. Ah, he that hunger and thirst thirst after righteousness shall be filled I speak life you shall live so you shall live and not die and you shall proclaim ah, the works of God in the name of Jesus I speak unashamed God says you're getting better to go back to work let me touch your hands hands mean works God says I put works in you I put works in you now carry it Carry it. I got you. I got you. I got you. God says, I got you. Be not weary and well doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Come on and praise me. In hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. God says unashamed oh he got good things for you my sister eyes have not seen ears have not heard having it into the hearts of man the things God has in store for them that love him in the name of Jesus God says go forward God says go forward in the name of Jesus I speak life right now in the name of Jesus God says you're getting ready to go forward I don't know what it is, but God said, go for it. This is the season for it. You need to go for it. I'm going to ask my wife to come. I need you to touch her. In the name of Jesus, she's getting ready to climb over mountains. In the name of Jesus, strengthen her hands. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unashamed. Unashamed. You're standing in God's presence. Unashamed. Come on, come on, get it. Drink from this fountain. Only he will satisfy you. Oh, Only he will satisfy you. Drink, drink, drink. That's it. Drink, drink. Drink from the well that will never run dry. God said, drink from this well. In the name of Jesus. In the name. That's it. Go ahead, go ahead. Drink from it. In the name. That's it. You're in his presence. You're in his presence. You're in his presence. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Right now, I speak. Life. God says, Come to the waters. Come to the waters. In the name of Jesus. Come on, there's a soul. Come on. She wants to go down in Jesus' name. I just heard water. In the I need y'all to praise him now, church. Somebody's going down in Jesus' name. I just heard the Lord say water. Come on and bless the Lord in this place. 
Hallelujah, on a shame. Come on, come on, come on, on a shame. On a shame. You're standing in God's presence. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift your hands. Have you been baptized in Jesus' name? Have you been baptized in Jesus' name? All right, God wants to fill you with this Holy Ghost, all right? In the name of Jesus, his indwelling presence, his indwelling presence, this power is going to make you walk right. This power is going to make you talk right. This power is going to make you live right. I need you to open up your mouth. Hallelujah, for the word of God is even now in your mouth. Come on, open up your mouth in the name of Jesus. Hey, in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost. Fire, consuming fire. Oh, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. The presence of God is on you. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, come on. Talk to him, talk to him in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Heal, heal, heal. Heal, shut up, shut up. I bow in your presence, God. That's it. Hallelujah. Go ahead, bow in his presence. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, this church is on fire. I said this church is on fire. God says I'm coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Hallelujah. You're spotless. God says I'm putting you back in my spot. Hey, you're going back to Eden, God says. Hey, you're going back to Eden. Eden is the spot. God says I'm putting you back there. In the name of Jesus. 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 I'm putting you back in a safety place. I'm putting you back in a safety place. God says I'm giving angels charge over you. Hey, he says he's giving you angels that's getting ready to charge you. In the name of Jesus, angels, I dispatch them now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on church, go up with me and praise him. Go up with me and praise him. The Holy Ghost is real. The Holy Ghost is real. This ain't no play fair. This is that that was spoken by the prophet Joel. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Hey, my God. Prophesy. 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 Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? The Holy Ghost is real. This is what grandma talked about. This is what Terry and did for me. I remember being in the upper room calling on the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm standing unashamed. That's it, young people. Unashamed. There's no time in God. There's eternity. I'm standing unashamed. You got no enemies. You got no naysayers. I'm not embarrassed. The blood is covering me. The blood is backing me up. When you want to put your hands on me, when you want to put your mouth on me, the blood is covering me. I stand unashamed. <laughs> say what you want to say. I stand unashamed in God's presence. Somebody say, he walks with me. He talks with me. And he tells me I'm his own. The voice of the Lord is still walking in the cool of the day. Oh, his voice is still walking upon us. There's a sweet presence in this place. Woo. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. At his right hand, there's pleasures. You better get it in his presence. If you need healing in your body, you better do like the woman with the issue of blood. You better reach out and touch him. He's coming down your aisle. Don't let it be said too late. Get what you need from God. She had to press through the crowd. She had to press through discouragement. She had to press through lies. She had to press through heartache. She had to press through grief just to get to Jesus. 
I'm done. God bless you. Oh, I stand in His presence. Hallelujah. 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 He's here. He's here. Holy Ghost is here. Hallelujah. He's in this place. Get your deliverance. Get your blessings. Just want to tell you. to make something happened to somebody glory glory what happened to you you got what you did hold on wait 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 a minute come on What happened to you? I got saved. How you know you got saved? Because I spoke in tongues. Glory be to God. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Somebody ought to praise him. Somebody ought to praise him. Glory. Glory. Holy Ghost is real. Holy Ghost is real. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. That's that. Elder, as you was down there preaching and laying hand, God told me to stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course. Don't move. Don't change. Stay the course. And God said, I'll be God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I think her and her sister got baptized last week, wasn't it? God is moving by his spirit. Somebody ought to praise him. Somebody ought to praise him. Cause my enemy you know I, mean? I give you glory I give you praise Hallelujah my enemy Come on let's praise God for this other one that's going down in Jesus name Hallelujah 
Come in here, Holy Ghost. Come in here. Glory. Yeah, glory. Yeah. Glory. Mm. Glory. Just want to praise you. Lord, I love you. recipient that went down in Jesus name hallelujah pray for her that the Lord fill her with the Holy Ghost certainly we honor God for this great service on this morning please don't don't please come back tonight we're not gonna hold you long the sun is shining it's beautiful because the man of God preached out of the depths of his soul Hallelujah. That message sounds like some more to me. <laughs> it sounds like some more to me. Glory be to God. Glory. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise God for his goodness and for his kindness. We thank God for all of our visitors. We thank God for the soul that got filled with the Holy Ghost. That's the most precious thing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
running through that Franklin and that Washington family, that Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Run through my family, Lord. Run through that family. Run through your family. Run through that family. Every family. Save our children. Save our aunts. Save our uncles. Save our nephews. Save, oh God. Hallelujah. God can save. Let's ask a special prayer for my daughter-in-law, Danielle Bartell, Rich's wife. She's having a child and they had to keep in the hospital for two weeks. Make sure that the baby don't come. Is that right? Yeah. Pray for her. Let God comfort her. Let's call on that name for Jesus. That name Jesus. Touch, deliver right now in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You know what I thank God for? I thank God for my mother praying for me would not even, didn't even know she was praying for me. I thank her for putting oil in my shoes when I didn't want to have nothing to do with Jesus. She put it in there anyway. Hallelujah. You can't make nobody be saved. All you can do is tell them about Jesus. One plant of one water and God gives the increase. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, I'm full. My cup running over. Glory be to God. Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy about the Holy Ghost? Aren't you happy that you saved? Glory be to God. And my Lord, Morgan Porter, Jesus. Hallelujah. Was that the first time out the gate? First time out the gate. And God touched her and blessed her. Working together, second time, working together does what? Ain't no one man choir. Choir is a team, they work together. It's like a group. Ain't no one man church, we a group. Hallelujah. Working together does what? Working together works. I'm happy. She went down, okay, we gonna, oh, it's 146, we gotta get out of here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. See, I'm, I didn't forget to see. Holy Ghost is making you forget about the announcements. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Full of joy. Full of joy. Full of praise. Full of happiness. I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm fire baptized. I got Jesus on my mind. Glory be to Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My whole shot Hey, glory. Come meet a man. Come see a man. He told me everything that I always come see a man. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm quit. I quit. I quit. Where, where sister? Come on, sister. For, for we folk go to announcements and have another praise at Let me quit. God bless you. Service can keep on going because the only announcement that matters is Jesus saves. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Services celebrating the life of Sister Jeanette Bloodsaw are as follows. Family Hour will be held on Saturday, April 20th from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. with the funeral celebration following at 11 a.m. All services will be held here at Clinton Street Greater Bethlehem Temple Church 2900 West Chicago Boulevard. Please pray much for her family, especially her grandchildren and her sisters and brother. Thank you. The Widow and Widowers Committee will meet on today after the dismissal. They will be meeting in the library. Thank you in advance for your participation. Sister Naomi Hardiman, Chairperson, Evangelist Georgia Brunson, 
overseer. And we invite each and every one of you to join us on this evening at 7 p.m. for night service. Our guest speaker will be with us again in service, so please come out and be with us and bring someone with you so that they can hear the good news. The Sunday School Teachers Council will meet on Wednesday, April 17th at 6 p.m. This meeting is for all current teachers, those wishing to become teachers, and any students who have questions or concerns that they would like to have our superintendent address. Again, this is Wednesday, April 17th at 6 p.m. in the Church Annex. Attention all members of Clinton Street Greater Bethlehem Temple. Your presence is being requested at a special saints meeting. This meeting has been called by our pastor and he is requesting that all members of this assembly please be present. The meeting will start at 7 p.m. and it will be held here in the main sanctuary. This is business of importance, so all members please make plans to be in attendance. The Sisters of Bethlehem, you have been invited to join Bethlehem Temple Soul Anchor Ministries for their Women of God Purposeful, Impactful, and Empowered to Serve service. This will take place Saturday, June 8th at 10.30 a.m. This is a women's luncheon and we have been invited to fellowship with them. The special guest speaker will be Evangelist Marie Bartell from Greater Mount Zion Apostolic Church in Florence, South Carolina. The donation for the prayer breakfast is $25. If you would like more information, please contact Bethlehem Temple Soul Anchor Ministries at 313-790-5754. Thank you. The Clinton Street Templeites Youth Department is planning a trip to Cedar Point. The trip will take place on June 15th. The cost is $75 per person. For that $75, you will receive a round trip ride on a luxury motor coach and you will receive your entrance into the park. Seats are going fast, so if you intend to go, please give a $40 deposit into the church office. You may see either myself or Elder Bryce Brunson. Seats are on a first come, first serve basis, so if you intend to go, please make it plain. Schedule of services for the week is as follows. We will be returning on tonight for the closeout of the Young People's Revival, so please join us at 7 p.m. Monday at 3 o'clock p.m., the prayer band will meet here in the sanctuary for an hour of prayer. At 7 p.m., we will be praying again on our conference line. And on Tuesday at 1 o'clock, there will be Bible class on the conference line. And at 7 p.m., evening prayer again on the conference line. Wednesday, 12 o'clock, prayer service. 6 o'clock p.m., the minister, I'm sorry, the teachers council will meet in the annex and at 7 p.m. will be Bible class, and both of those services will be held in the annex. On Friday at 12 noon will be daytime Bible class in our chapel, and at 7 p.m. that special saints meeting called by our pastor. And next Sunday, if the Lord says the same, we will return at 10 a.m. for Sunday school, the best way to start your Sunday. And 11.45 will be morning worship here in the sanctuary. All are invited to join us. Thank you for your attention to these announcements. We turn the service back into the hands of our pastor. Let's give God a praise for that youth revival so far. We just want to thank all those that, that, that came out, brought their young people. Let's give God one more praise for this youth revival. Tonight uh, is going to be joy night.